<clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it's not showing up on my YouTube admin page yet, but it seems like it ought to be up by now. <clears throat> I'm uh, considering wait till it comes up though. I don't have any of my intro. I just <clears throat> got OBS working again <clears throat> to stream. I mean, <clears throat> it's been recording, but it would crash on streaming. Um. I could exp I'm going to explain all that here after I'm sure it's live. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> okay, Dawn back here again. Uh, if you heard anything else before that, I was just trying to make sure I was live before I really started going into everything. All right, let me look at my <clears throat> files, make sure I'm getting my... So I'm streaming and making a backup file. I've been using... Simple screen recorder to, well, I've streamed with it a couple of times, but it always stays yellow. It never stays in good health, the stream. So uh, one time it went red, so I decided to just record videos. You can only do either or. You can't do both with it. So now I'm not, you can run them at the same time as OBS, but of course it uses more system resources, so I'm not running it now, now that I'm able to stream and <clears throat> make a backup video at the same time. So as long as my stream's working and I'm making a backup video, then I'm good. Um, <clears throat> it was just wearing me out having up, you know, upload videos every day, spending three or four hours uploading videos. So I've been trying for, <clears throat> well, it's really been about a while. I've, it's been a better part of this week. Well, last week and first part of this week or whatever. This is Saturday. Okay, I guess it's this week. I don't know. I'm t mixed up. So what I did was uh, let's just go ahead and go into i i went uh let me get into dragora this is fedora 28 <coughs> linux and um what i finally did i thought it was my profiles and i kept working on them i thought it was something i had added or done something and then i read went online and searched and watched videos and uh <coughs> i thought well I decided maybe it was settings I needed to change, and uh, because I found out YouTube actually wants 3,000 uh, kilobits per second, and I was running 2,500, and that's the default. But that's what I'm running right now; it's fine. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, well, now it may be there is a section in the program where it automatically seems to set the stream to. Uh, I did use the wizard uh, to set it up after I reinstalled it. I'm going to search for OBS here in DNF Dragora. And uh, <clears throat> it's, um, oh, I was like, oh, it's way behind. Well, yeah, because I paused it. I'm going to let the stream keep rolling and just turn off the audio. I forgot that's what I usually do unless the laptop can't handle it. Sometimes it gets tired. It has been on for hours, though, because <clears throat> I kept thinking it might work. But um, let me get that working again before I go on. That way I know that I'm, you know, that I'm working. <clears throat> I have to uh, remember everything I got to do. Unmute, I unmuted the audio and I heard nothing. <coughs> <coughs> That's because I unmuted the audio on the laptop, but the mute audio was still muted in the browser. Okay, now I got it all straightened out. Okay, now OBS in Fedora 28, I'm going to click, I don't want to click on that one because I don't want to, that's the one I installed and I'll show you. I uninstalled, I was, uh, it had automatically, I've got automatic updates turned on and it automatically updated. See, it shows an update available there <clears throat> and it was already updated to 2203. Well, I didn't, I got finally after going around and around and around, I finally decided maybe <clears throat> that it was a bug in OBS. I thought it was a bug. I wasn't sure if it was in OBS or Fedora. Finally, I kind of realized, okay, people in Windows are having trouble. People in Fedora 29 are having trouble. And I might have seen somebody. I'm having trouble in Fedora 20. I don't know if anybody else was. So finally realized it's OBS. What I want to do now, <clears throat> but I know that 22.03 is not going to work, but 21.11 does work. I'm streaming on it right now. Yeah, you can't, okay, you can't do anything to that, can you? I don't want that update to happen. 
<clears throat> so I got to turn off. I think what I'll do is turn off automatic updates first. Oh, and when I un um, when I uninstalled the 22 version, and uh, okay, let me click on it. As long as you're careful, I'm not. I'm going to hit quit and not do anything. So I guess I'll be all right. I, I got this is so hard to navigate with them so spread apart like that <clears throat> uh, to see what's what. Um, so anyway, so the the uh, it automatically all you have to do to install OBS Studio is select OBS Studio, the version that you want, and then it will automatically pick the the, the dependencies and install them. But what happened when I when I tried to revert back, it picked the newest OBS Studio libs. It picked that one down there and installed it with uh, version 21.1.1. Well, it kept crashing as soon as you opened it up. And so I just finally saw that. I was going to uninstall it, actually, and I saw it. <clears throat> and uh, then I said, oh, okay. So I went ahead and uninstalled it, reinstalled it again, and manually picked the libs that I wanted, and now it runs perfect like it used to a couple weeks ago and ever since 2016. I've had it crash here and there, but not like this. I mean, I kept thinking they'd fix it, you know, uh, for about a couple of weeks or more. I was just making videos. It would, it would record videos, but it wouldn't uh, stream. It would crash when you tried to stream. So I was just recording videos and, um, <clears throat> you know, uploading them, and that's taking three or four hours every day to do that. And I couldn't stream while during that time, you know, and... So it was a real pain. So I finally decided to really keep working until I just couldn't think of any other way to fix it. So this was <laughs> my last resort. It should have been my first resort, but usually that's not what fixes things, you know. <clears throat> well, and you can't always go back to, and, and, uh, well, Windows or Linux. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. <clears throat> but uh, And I did have trouble going back to a previous version. Now I've got to get it. To free, I got to figure out if I can freeze it, and I think I can because <coughs> I think Fedora 28 had it, but I know Fedora 29 when I was installing it on my server, the server edition has a way to freeze. <coughs> now I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before I mess something up. Has a way to freeze um, uh, individual applications or group, you know, or groups of applications, I guess. At the versions that you want, the one that works best for you, and in this case, it's the only one. You know, it it works, and that's all. You know, the other one still. So, uh, I think I'll get in my browser, and I was going to try to hurry up and freeze it and figure out how to freeze it, but I think I I don't know when my updates will automatically run. Uh, they're kind of on an auto timer. So what I'm going to do is I only have one scene set up, the desktop. <clears throat> I don't have my cameras or anything. Uh, and but and I've got all my profiles saved and my and my scenes saved. I've got extra profiles saved and scene collections saved. I'll import them later. I just want to get this this done first. So <clears throat> I thought I'd show it. You know. So there you go. If um, if you're running Fedora 28, 29, maybe a little older version of Fedora. If you're running that newer version of OBS, it's it's what's crashing. Go back to. 21.1.1 and it works perfectly but you're still going to have to if you're doing auto updates like I am you're still going to have to stop that so let's see <clears throat> Fedora 28 there we go I've got a folder for auto updates adjusting automatic see what that has to say first let's see hope you can't hear that dog is driving me crazy barking <clears throat> but it's too hot to shut my window it's cool outside it's 57 it's been it's finally down to 78.8 in here it was 79.3 to 7 all the last several hours even with the window open the morning the sun it's always cools off about sun up <clears throat> Oh it's, not, oh, it's past sun up. It's 10 in the morning now. Damn, where did the time go? I've been up all night, so I don't know what's going on. I got really involved in this. And <coughs> let's see. System preferences, software updates. In KDE, it's located at application settings. 
Uh, well, they're talking about uh, genome three, but let's look and see if you can do it in the GUI. I don't think so in mate. System. What? System preferences. Yeah, system preferences. System. System preferences, system software updates. <clears throat> uh, let's go to control center and see if there's anything about updates in there. The, I don't, I didn't think they had it in the GUI at all, actually. That's the updater. I'm afraid it will update if I open it. <clears throat> really am I, I don't know what would happen um, I don't <clears throat> I'm running mate desktop and I don't have genome 3 installed I can't stand genome 3 I, I actually I think I may only have one if I have another desktop it would be KDE but I'm not gonna reboot and get in there let's see let's just look through the preferences I don't think there's I think it would actually be in, uh, if it was in here, in, <clears throat> it would be in, in this section, in administration. Don't see it. Well, that's a good thing that uh, I would like to have, but I don't want Genome 3 on the system. It can't. If you have it on here with <clears throat> Mate, then it starts fighting for control of a bunch of, you know, and run and opening background applications on startup, and all kinds of stuff. Let's look in the control center again. Let's see. We'll just look through it this time. I installed Apper, the original. It used to be the default, but it doesn't work very well. It works, but it, a lot of things don't work. I also installed another one called Software. And they have sections for that. One of those has sections for that, but <clears throat> I don't think it actually works. Turn it on and off. You have to. I had to get it to work. I had to do it in the config files, which is what it's been for since at least Fedora 23. I think more like Fedora 21. <clears throat> Can't remember now. <clears throat> That's why I didn't think it was even in any GUIs anymore. So let's just go do that. That might be old anyway. What version is that for? Just thought of that. <coughs> Doesn't say what version. It's possible it's not for the version I'm running. I'll just start at the top of my links and see. There. How do automatic updates are done? Fedora or later? Okay, DNF install automatic, DNF automatic, which is, you know, I already did, and then <clears throat> Okay, so we need to go edit DNF automatic Yeah, see, it's on a timer, and it kind of, it works well. I mean, it's, uh, let's look in the system, CTL. Yeah, I don't want to start the timer. I want to just look at them. I think I can do that as regular user, maybe not. We'll see. <coughs> Saturday, which is today, 10.39, 46, 33 minutes left. Yeah, i got to hurry up. <clears throat> it's going gonna, it's gonna to update at 10.39. I may have to reboot the system to stop it. Well, I can find out by doing that, can I? Uh,
Oh, yeah, and as of Fedora 26, <clears throat> only download, download, and install, only notify via emitters. ETC, DNF, automatic config. So, <clears throat> where is that link that I saw about? Yeah, DNF automatic. Okay, that's. It's really not specific to Fedora 28, <clears throat> but that's where I had put it. So, that's what I'm running on this Lenovo i5. Okay, well, I'm going to go into that file before I spend time reading that. I think I know how to do it. Um, ETC DNF automatic. Okay, so what I need to do is get into root, Crusader root mode. That's... It's the easiest way <clears throat> to me. I don't like working in the command line unless I have to. It's easy to mess things up. I don't type things very accurately <clears throat> and I can't see stuff very accurately so yeah etc some of dnf right automatic there it is automatic config original which I saved okay edit There we go. Now, upgrade type default. Download updates, yes. Apply updates, no. That's what I'm going to do now. And <clears throat> I'm going to hit save right now. Okay. I think I might end up having to reboot to stop it, though. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's just say no to both because I don't know. I don't want this to be permanent. Um, I want to figure out how to freeze just those apps and then I want my updates. All of them, especially the security updates. Okay. Let's see if. Why? Well, yeah, that's the only two places yes was in there. Other updates should be applied when they're available. No. Just receive updates. Use DNF apply timer. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that should be it. And uh, I guess I'll close it. Now let's try running that command again. I'll, I'll close that too so I won't have too much running in the back on this machine to you know work, uh, make it execute okay I don't want to do that I just want to check status there we go now I was able to check that as dawn <coughs> I'm going to do it as root this time. Well, let's just check it. Oops. And then do it again as root. See if it looks any different. Still shows the same thing. So I think that it will. Oh, I'm going to have to. Okay. Close. Let's go in there one more time. Still shows it's going to update. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot and see if that will make it stop updating. Uh, which means I got to stop my 
video, but that'll be all right. <coughs> okay. Well, I could do, hmm. You know what? If I turn on, no, I think it'll take too long. I don't really have, I'll just have 12 minutes or so around. I mean, it's 10, 12, 10, 39. I don't know what I got, but it ain't that long. I was thinking I could start up another machine that has, I have another machine with OBS on it. And uh, I could set it up as a backup server and then reboot this one, and that would start that one serving, you know, and I wouldn't lose anything. But, I mean, the vi I wouldn't lose anything on the stream. But I'm just going to stop it and start another stream. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. 